Okay, so it's time to do our five cases for convex lenses. So before we get started, you should um, pause this video in a second and take a sheet of white paper and create three sets. Let me make this three. Okay, you need two pages. So draw your principal axis, put your lens in the middle, your convex, your converging lens in the middle with F and 2F equally spaced on either side. And you're going to do it uh, five times for the convex converging lens. Whoops. And in the last spot on your second sheet, do one case for a concave or diverging lens. Okay? So pause the video for a second and do that. And get your, your markers or your coloring pencils. And you want four different colors. All right, and then you can restart. All right, so case one is the object beyond 2F. So we're going to put the object out here beyond 2F. And then, sorry, I have to cap my pen. And then we're going to find where is the image. So if you remember from the last video that had content, there were three rays that you can use. One ray, so starting with a different color from the head, a ray that goes in parallel to the principal axis, gets refracted in such a way that it's going to come out through F on the other side of the lens. Okay, that's one possible ray. A second ray is a ray that goes in through F, is going to get refracted so it comes out parallel. And the third ray is a ray that goes in through the optical center, will come out straight through. Okay, I'll probably go in through F just because it's a shorter line that I have to draw. Whoops, still didn't make it very straight, did I? Okay, and then it's going to get bent in such a way that it's going to come out. Whoops, imagine that's parallel to the principal axis. Okay? So that's the rays from the head. From the bottom, I'm going to do two rays as well. So with a different color, go in parallel to the principal axis. Whoops, and it got bent too much. And it's going to get bent in such a way that it's going to come out through F on the opposite side. OK? And I can try it through the optical center. I need to cheat. It needs to cross so they're there. Okay. So through the optical center should pass straight through. It's harder to draw because it needs to be a longer straight line. All right. Where the purple cross, that's your head. Where the green cross, that's your feet. There's your image. Image is. It's upside down, so it must be real, inverted. If you look, it's smaller. And it's between F and 2F. On opposite side. Okay. All right, that's case one. So just like we did with mirrors, we're now going to move our image in. So it was beyond 2F. Now we're going to move it in to 2F. Oops, that's not blue. Is it going to bother anybody else that I did that in black instead of blue? Okay. So, just like before, with the purple and from the top, a ray going in, whoops, a ray going in parallel to the principal axis should get bent in such a way as to come out through F on the other side. And these little lines that I'm drawing right here and here, these are the normals at those two points. Because remember, the, from refraction in grade 11, bends towards the normal and bends away from the normal. 
Okay, and then array going in. Now I really need to cheat. Can I go in through the center? Mm. Maybe. So array that goes in through the center should pass straight through. All right, from the bottom, parallel one's always the easiest. Array going in parallel to the principal axis is going to get bent in such a way ah, that it'll come out through F. An array that goes in through F should get bent in such a way that it's going to come out parallel to the principal axis. Oops, that's not parallel. It's a little closer. Okay, where the purple cross, that's where the head is going to be. And where the green cross, that's where the feet. And it should be the same size. So image is real, inverted, same size and at 2f on opposite side okay and I hadn't I didn't mark in the 2f here because I knew the image was going to end up on it and over here the object was on it okay so that's case two case three just like in the mirrors we're going to move the object in between f and 2f so we're going to put our object here Okay, and so again with our the same color from the top for me purple. Go in parallel to the principal axis, and it gets bent such a way that it goes out through F on the other side of the mirror of the lens. Excuse me. Okay, and then array going in through F. Should have done shoot. Guess I is not gonna hit mine, so I'm gonna go in through C instead. Or through O, I guess it is. And then the page moves because I don't have a hand to hold it with. Okay. From the bottom, array going in parallel to the principal axis. will get bent in such a way that it'll come out through F on the other side of the lens. And then I'm going to go through O again just to be safe and it should cross somewhere up here. It's all about knowing where you want it to cross and then cheating just a little. Okay, and so where the purple is, that's our head, where the green cross, that's our feet. Okay, it's still inverted, which means it's still real. So image is real. Inverted. Larger. And beyond 2F. on opposite side. Now, I am hoping that you are recognizing the exact parallels to the first three cases we did with mirrors. Right? Beyond C, it ended up between C and F. Be at C, it ended up at C. And between C and F, it ended up beyond C. They are exactly the same for lenses, just that they go on the opposite side. Okay, so there's our first three cases. Our next two. An image at F, and I'm going to run at a time here. So you're going to, or excuse me, object at F. So put your object here at F. Okay, and now it kind of messes up 